DeepSeek is a wake-up call for America's... China's AI breakthrough, DeepSeek, didn't just shock the world, it humiliated Silicon Valley. NVIDIA, yeah. losing nearly $600 billion in market cap today alone. NVIDIA's $600 billion stock crash, the biggest in history. But by the end of this video, you'll realize the most terrifying part. DeepSeek is just the beginning of China's AI dominance. What is your sense of how um, the United States is relative to China in terms of the talent and innovation that's going on in artificial intelligence? So I don't know if you all saw, but a month ago, China actually announced its AI strategy. And I actually read it. And it's pretty simple. By 2020, they will have caught up. By 2025, they will be better than us. And by 2030, they will dominate the industries of AI. This is Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google, in an interview dated November 1st, 2017. This was eight years ago, and the document he was talking about is the New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan, in which they explicitly mentioned that by 2025, China will achieve breakthroughs in basic theories for AI. Needless to say, the breakthrough year for China is here, and it has started with DeepSeek, so let's talk about it. According to DeepSeek's researchers, the AI lab reportedly spent just $5.6 million to build DeepSeek version 3. This is absolutely nothing compared to OpenAI, which spent $8.5 billion in 2024, and Google, whose capital expenditure in 2024 soared over $50 billion. Even Microsoft had invested more than $13 billion in OpenAI to perfect ChatGPT and they all got outscored by DeepSeek. According to artificial analysis, DeepSeek's R1, which is the upgraded version of DeepSeek, outperforms other companies' latest models on the commonly used AI tests. DeepSeek's R1 ranks the highest in all categories except for reasoning and knowledge and scientific reasoning and knowledge, where OpenAI's O1 has a slight advantage. Shortly after its launch, DeepSeek was getting about 300,000 visits per day, before shooting up to 33.4 million on January 27th alone. Over the past few weeks, Silicon Valley executives have showered praise on DeepSeek version 3 and the R1 model, not only for its performance capabilities, but also its humble beginnings. There's very little public information out there, but from what we know, DeepSeek was made by a hedge fund in Hangzhou called High Flyer whose controlling shareholder is 39-year-old Liang Wenfeng. This is probably the only image you'll find of the co-founder because, unlike Western tech leaders like Jensen Huang, Mark Zuckerberg, and Satya Nadella, this founder stays out of the spotlight. Even the image we have is from a closed-door symposium hosted by China's Premier Li Qiang. Other than a not-so-publicized founder, what's noteworthy is DeepSeek's technological advancements especially considering the limitations imposed by the U.S. government on China. The United States is set to announce new restrictions on China's access to its semiconductor technology. These restrictions have significantly limited China's computing power, as Washington has taken a firm stance against China in the AI race by preventing the country from accessing America's most powerful chips, such as NVIDIA's H100 GPUs. These chips were once considered essential for developing a competitive AI model, leading to intense competition among startups and tech giants to acquire them. DeepSeek, however, has defied expectations by utilizing NVIDIA's less powerful H800s to build its latest model, which was likely stockpiled before the Biden administration ban. This demonstrates DeepSeek's ability to efficiently utilize available hardware, regardless of its limitations. It also has one of the lowest estimated prices for processing 1 million input and output tokens in comparison with other AI models. Of course, there are ongoing debates on whether these numbers are true or not. According to semi-analysis, the $6 million figure only accounts for the GPU cost of the pre-training run, which represents just a small fraction of the model's total cost. They also claim that the total investment is around $1.6 billion with an estimated running cost of $966 million. Once again, these are all claims. But even if it is true, 
the number is still significantly lower than that of OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and even Meta's Llama. DeepSeek has released a series of generative AI models starting from DeepSeek Coder in November 2023 to its latest Janus Pro 7B in January 2025. All these models have contributed to the recent U.S. stock declination, which is characterized as the Sputnik moment. Americans had assumed that their massive lead in funding, access to high-quality chips and innovation would keep them well ahead. That assumption now looks like hubris. In the 1950s, the U.S. and Soviet Union were engaged in a Cold War that extended into space. The U.S. planned to launch an artificial satellite by 1958. But the Soviet Union's Sputnik 1, launched in 1957, created public fear in the West about a technological gap leading to the space race and the 1969 moon landing. Today, the U.S. is considered a global AI leader, with companies like OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, and X. But DeepSeek changed it all as the chatbot's release wiped $11 trillion from the U.S. tech index impacting companies like NVIDIA, Google, and Microsoft. This is why, in a post on X, a U.S. venture capitalist compared the launch of DeepSeek's R1 model to the launch of Sputnik. One important thing to note here is that when DeepSeek launched R1, they made major claims about its model, saying it outperforms OpenAI's O1 Mini model across various benchmarks. But that's not entirely true. We can see that DeepSeek R1 outperformed Google, Meta, and Anthropic models, but not OpenAI's O1 in terms of general reasoning. But as we said at the start, DeepSeek was just the beginning as more Chinese AIs are emerging towards the spotlight. We have to be at the forefront. It's going to happen. And if it's going to happen, we have to take the lead over China. China is the primary threat in terms of that. This was Donald Trump's interview on Impulsive Episode 418, seven months before his presidency. Yet he was able to foresee China as a threat in AI. Of course, he wasn't wrong. During the Lunar New Year holiday, the Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba released its latest open-source artificial intelligence model, Quen. Based on their benchmarks, Quen surpassed DeepSeek version 3 and other AI models in terms of performance. And according to their GitHub page, Quen 2.5 Max was pre-trained on over 20 trillion tokens. When compared with top models like DeepSeek V3 and Llama 3.1, both Quen 2.5 72B and Quen 2.5. Max ranked the highest. Trained with just $3 million, Alibaba's Quen cut costs by as much as 85% on its large language models in a bid to attract more developers, signaling that the race is on. This not only intensifies the race of AI, but also the race of frugal AI, which means developing high-performance, cost-efficient AI models. And now, the whole world is jumping in the race. According to MIT Technology Review, an elite group of companies known as the Six Tigers are generally considered to be at the forefront of China's AI sector. These companies are Stepfun, Zipu, Minimax, Moonshot, Zero One.ai, and Beichuan. Each of these companies has an interesting backing. Stepfun was founded in April 2023 by former Microsoft Senior Vice President Zhang Daxin. With backing from investors like Tencent and funding from Shanghai's government, the firm released 11 foundational AI models last year. Its biggest language model so far, Step 2, has over 1 trillion parameters compared to ChatGPT4, which has about 1.8 trillion. It is currently ranked behind only ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Claude, and Gemini's models on Livebench. But we can expect that to change this year once they start rolling out new models. Next, we have ModelBest, which was founded by researchers at the prestigious Tsinghua University in 2022. The company has distinguished itself by leaning into efficiency and embracing the trend of small language models. Mini CPM 3.0, the latest model from ModelBest, has only 4 billion parameters, yet matches the performance of ChatGPT 3.5 on various benchmarks. The company's models can be found on GitHub and Hugging Face under the profile of its open source research lab, OpenBMB, or Open Lab for Big Model Base. Jipu AI, which also originated at Tsinghua University, has developed into a company with strong ties to government and academia. 
The firm is developing foundational models and AI products based on them, including ChatGLM, a conversational model, and Ying, a video generator similar to OpenAI's Sora system. They have developed GLM4+, a large language model that matches the performance of ChatGPT4 despite being trained on less expensive synthetic data. They have also created GLM4 V+, a vision model that can interpret web pages and videos moving closer to AI with agentic capabilities. Jipu AI is the first of the new Chinese AI startups to be added to the U.S. government's restricted trade list. The Biden administration added over 25 Chinese entities, including 10 Jipu AI subsidiaries, to the list in January, claiming that Jipu's technology is aiding China's military. Jipu denies these claims. There are many honorable mentions like Infinigence AI, Baichuan, Minimax, and Moonshot, and if you don't know their names now, you'll be seeing them on the news this year. So you can see that China's AI is set to take the big stage this year, and while this success seems like it was aimed at undermining U.S. companies, the truth is that the U.S. companies have been profiting from the lack of competition for too long. Well, we're joined by Oracle Executive Chairman Larry Ellison, SoftBank CEO, my friend Masa, Masa Yoshi's son, and CEO of OpenAI, and I would say the, uh, by far the leading expert based on everything I read, Sam Altman's. OpenAI once stood as the undisputed champion of the AI revolution. After productizing Google's foundational large language model research, it raced toward an impending IPO buoyed by a $6 billion funding round. Furthermore, there were grand plans like the Stargate project, a $500 billion moonshot to build next-generation AI infrastructure. Last, last month, I came to um, celebrate your winning and promised that uh, we will invest $100 billion. And you told me, oh, Masa, go for 200 sure. <laughs> yeah. Now I came back with 500 <laughs> But just as OpenAI prepared to transition to a for-profit model and cement its status as a public tech titan, China's deep seek erupted onto the scene and shattered the illusion of American invincibility. Despite its sky-high valuation, OpenAI has yet to turn a profit. Its survival hinges on an endless cycle of fundraising and hype. Investors bank on its ability to monopolize reasoning AI models like O, which promise to transcend pattern recognition and solve complex problems through logic. But cracks began to show. Researchers at Berkeley demonstrated that reasoning models could be built for as little as $450, undermining OpenAI's claim that scale alone justifies its exorbitant costs. Then came the brain drain. Top talent of OpenAI like CTO Mira Murati ChatGPT4's training lead, Barrett Zoff, and researcher Bob McGrew began fleeing. The Stargate project, touted as the Apollo program of AI, suddenly looked less like innovation and more like a desperate bid to justify its valuation. As venture capitalist Shamath Palihapitiya bluntly declared, AI model building is a money trap. While U.S. policymakers focused on restricting China's access to advanced chips, they inadvertently handed Beijing a strategic gift. DeepSeek proved to the world that an open-source model can operate at one-thirtieth the cost of OpenAI's offerings, just 10 cents per million tokens versus OpenAI's $4.40. Unlike proprietary systems, DeepSeek's model grants developers full access to its architecture, enabling customization and rapid iteration. This is a disaster for America's position at the top. Open source models, once thought to be not as good, are now a threat to the entire closed ecosystem strategy. As developers worldwide move to DeepSeek's cheaper, adaptable platform, OpenAI's main business, licensing access to its models, is at risk of becoming outdated. After all, why pay high prices for a black box system when open source options are faster, cheaper, and more transparent? OpenAI's IPO plans are now in freefall. Investors, spooked by DeepSeek's rise and the shifting economics of AI, question whether OpenAI can justify its valuation. The brain drain worsens as engineers and researchers pivot to decentralized open source projects. Even the Stargate project, once a symbol of American ambition, faces skepticism. Why pour $500 billion into a closed system when the future is open, collaborative, and lean? 
China, meanwhile, has turned U.S. containment strategies against Washington. By weaponizing open-source collaboration, Beijing positions itself as a champion of global AI democratization while quietly embedding its standards into the fabric of global tech. The lesson is clear. In the AI race, overconfidence is fatal. With the rise of DeepSeek, the world is now questioning OpenAI's actual worth and the overly hyped Stargate project, which boasts a bigger piggy bank than intelligence. We're as excited as you are to see how China's AI will continue to overtake the U.S. in 2025 and beyond.